Experiment 7.2 is called Build Your Own Barometer. And this is one that you'll really want to try to do at home so that you can track it. If we were in class, I would have sent you, we would have made it and I would have sent you home with it to do at home. So if you have these things at home, which you might, um, I recommend you actually try to build this at home. So on page 202 in your textbook or on page 461 of your workbook, we have the purpose of this experiment is to understand how a barometer works. The materials you're going to need are a large mason jar or clear sturdy jar, a balloon, scissors, a rubber band, a drinking straw, scotch tape, a sheet of cardboard or card stock. So if you have a sheet of card stock, that will work just as fine. And a fine tipped marker or some sort of writing implement. Now the question we're asking is how does a barometer work? So your hypothesis in your hypothesis section of your notebook, it says, write how you think air pressure might affect weather. So you're going to pause this video right now. You're going to go to page 461 in your student notebook and write down your hypothesis that answers what you think for that question. You're going to take your balloon and you're going to cut off the neck close to where it starts to, to be getting big so that you can get it over the lip of your jar. All right, so then you put it over the lip of the jar. Mine had this little part that sticks up. You can try to push it down so that it's not having too much um, getting in the way. But we can put our straw on this side. So I wouldn't worry too much about it sticking up as long as the rest is, is fairly tight. I think we'll still be able to see what we want to see in this experiment. So place the rubber band around the neck of the jar to hold the balloon tightly. So here's a rubber band. And I'm actually going to double up the rubber band so that it's nice and tight. So if you have a hair tie, that would work too. So that's nice and tight. You can hear that. Now we're going to cut off the bendy portion of the straw and make the cut slanted so the straw comes to a point. So here, my bendy part is here. I'm going to cut over here at an angle so that I have so that I have a point. See that? Then it says tape the non-pointed end of the straw to the balloon surface. And actually, I'm going to cut down my straw just a little bit so that when I tape it, it'll be coming off like that. So take your tape, take your bendy, or take your straw, and just tape it to the top of your balloon so that it's nice and tight and taped down. So you should have your straw coming off your balloon. Again, avoid if you have a little piece sticking up, just try to avoid that. Now it says fold the cardstock in half lengthwise to create a crease and unfold it so it will stand up. So just like this, make a crease and then unfold it. So it'll stand up. And the next part is place the cardstock right next to the pointed end of the straw and mark with a marker where the straw is pointing. Place a one next to that mark. You have built your barometer.
So you want to make sure you're on a flat surface. You're going to come like this, wherever the pointy part of your straw is. So like, I'm going to actually come off here to the side so I can mark it as right here. And then I'm going to put a number one. Where that is. Not sure if you can see that. All right, so that's right where my pointy part is. I have a line and a number one. So it says then, come back to the barometer throughout the day or for several days to see if the straw is pointing higher or lower and mark the spot with a two, three, and so on. Note in the data section what the weather was like at each numbered spot. So my first spot here, the weather, I'm gonna write here what the weather was like. So I'm gonna write it's snowing, because it is. It's overcast and snowing, and the temperature is 33 degrees outside. So I'm gonna write that in for number one. And then later on today or tomorrow, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna see where it is. All right, so now I wanna spend just a few minutes explaining the basics of how a barometer actually works. So when we made our, our barometer, um, the air, it's, it's a sealed thing. So the air in here, the amount of air is not going to change now that we've sealed it off. How a barometer um, measures air pressure is it will take the outside air pressure and if the air pressure is high, meaning it's pressing down, the barometer, the top of the balloon part will get pressed down making the tip go up, right? So high pressure will make the tip go up. Low pressure will actually mean that the pressure inside here is higher than outside, so it'll want to push up against the balloon. So low pressure will force the needle to go down on our barometer. So just remember too that the way air pressure works is that cold air, likes to settle down and hot air likes to rise. We always, we've always heard hot air rises, right? So when it's colder, it, we're likely to have a higher air pressure because it's pushing down on, on us. Whereas when it's warmer, the air wants to rise, so it's less air pressure. Now there are also other elements in the atmosphere that that cha will change what our air pressure shows on our barometer. So if the weather is clear, if, if the sky is clear, you'll likely have higher air pressure than if it's cloudy. And then also if the weather's changing, you'll tend to have low air pressure when the weather's changing because it's, it's moving around, it's not staying pressed down. So just know that um, when we look at our results, um, which I'll show here in a minute, when we look at those results, it's not just the temperature in the air that's going to cause our needle to go up or down on our barometer. It could be whether it's cloudy or clear, whether the weather's changing, things of that nature. And there could also be other variables um, because I have my barometer in my house. So the fact that my house is warm as opposed to outside will also change exactly what's going on um, in the way my barometer is reading. So there's a lot of other things going on. But here is my data from my barometer. And so you'll wanna, if you haven't had a chance to do this yourself, you can use this data to put in your notebook and your results section. Um, but if you did get a chance to do this yourself at home, and I hope you did, um, you can put your own data there so that you can record that.